Okay, this video is going to talk about the differences between uh, a current bus with onboard diagnostics, or OBD, and a bus that doesn't have that. So, Nick, why don't you point out some of the things that a new driver is going to see with a bus with OBD? All right, well, the 2013 emissions dash, you're going to have three indicator lights that are slightly different. Uh, you're going to have the addition of a uh, mill light, which will come on with any engine emissions related. Uh, fault code. Um, you're going to have another light uh, that'll come on and it will show you when a regeneration is necessary. And then your wait to start light will still be in the same place, but it'll be white instead of green. And it'll be required that when you go to start a bus, uh, that the light will come on and shut off before you actually start the bus or a fault code will be logged. Okay, so there's this bus you really have to follow that procedure or you're going to end up creating a problem for yourself, right? Correct. And on the left-hand side, you talked about the mill light. What else is over there? Is it a stop engine light or something? Correct. Um, like your 2010 emissions, um, you'll have a red stop engine light that'll illuminate um, when that fault code comes on. Uh, you'll want to find a safe place to pull the bus over and then uh, call your school uh, transportation uh, garage and let them know okay. and then you'll also have just below that an amber engine warning light okay so the engine warning light the mill light those don't require you to stop the bus right correct those are just warnings that emissions related events occurring or that there's something other diagnostic code that's being uh, logged at the point but don't need to pull the bus over that's correct. The only one you need to pay attention to is the stop engine light. That's the one where you have to pull the bus over, right? Yeah. Um, okay. That that one you want to pull the bus over before you uh, cause any additional damage. Okay. In the center of the dash there, it talks about the, the DEF fluid tank and how much fluid's left. Is that right? Uh, correct. When you turn the key on um, in this screen here in the center, it'll actually come up with a percentage level and it'll tell you how much DEF you have. Uh, so this one's currently showing that the tank is 50% full. Okay. And that's part of the uh, emissions SC or emissions with the Cummins engine, right? Correct. Okay. Anything else on this? Um, no, I think that's it as far as your changes between your 2010 and your 2013 emissions. Okay. So again, just uh, pay attention to the stop engine light. The other ones are indicators, and then also pay attention to how you start the bus. Make sure you go through the procedures properly. Wait, wait until that light goes out before you start the bus, right? Correct. 